Hello children, today I'm going to tell you the story called Children of the Forest by Elsa Beskow. So once upon a time, underneath a great live oak tree, there lived the forest children. They had everything they needed under the tree and the roots of the tree. Their whole family lived there and they had little cabinets with their little bowls and their forks and their knives and they had little beds there and they had things to eat in their little cabinets under the tree, little nuts and berries. And the children of the forest they always wore little red and white spotted mushroom caps because they were no bigger than our little thumb. But they wore those caps because when a stranger came to the forest, they would hide away in the grasses with their mushrooms caps, so nobody would see them. Well, they loved to play with the little squirrels that lived up in the tree, and they would play hide and seek with the squirrels. And sometimes the squirrels would give them little nuts to eat. And they would go down to the pond. And at the pond, there was their friend, Buffo the Frog. And they liked to go sit near Buffo the Frog. And Buffo the Frog would listen to all their troubles or all their stories. And they had a bat friend, Renata. And sometimes their bat friend would fly down and they would get on top of their bat friend and Renata would bat would fly them over the pond and back again. And the children of the forest sometimes were very curious about creatures. One time they came across a big Ant hill. And one of them started poking, poking, poking at the anthill. But you know what happened then. All the little ants crawled out of the anthill and started biting the children of the forest and biting them. Oh! And when they got home, too, their home under the oak tree. Oh, their mother had to put ointment on all of their bites. And she told them, oh, children, don't ever harm the creatures of the forest if they are not harming you. You can get hurt that way. So one day, because not all the creatures in the forest were friendly, a snake came slithering by and they think it was a poisonous snake and at first they wanted to poke it, but then they remembered what their mother said. If it's not harming you, don't bother it. And it just slithered, 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 slithered away. And they were not bothered by it. Soon it was very 
picking time. And they went down to where all the berries were. And they began to pick berries in their baskets. Pick berries. And who should come up from behind them but Ooh, 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 a troll, ooh, ooh, and it made them drop all their berries out of the basket. They were a little scared, ooh, and they started running away, but then the troll said, I'm just laughing, I'm just laughing. I just liked you watch, picking those berries, and I was laughing, and I thought maybe you would laugh too. And then they did start to laugh, ooh, ooh, ooh. go pick up your berries. It's a good time to go make some berry pie or store up the berries for the winter. And that is what they did. And they also picked a lot of other things. They, because it was harvest time, they went and picked a lot of the cotton grasses and they took it home and their parents carded, carded the cotton and made it into nice fluffy cotton. And then they made y yarn out of it. They spun yarn from all the cotton and it was nice. And then their mother wove the nice sweaters and blankets for the winter. Oh, and they even learned how to pick mushrooms and which mushrooms were good to eat and they hung them out to dry underneath their oak tree so that they would be dry and they could eat them for the winter. And soon the cold winds began to blow and it was time for them to go to owl school. There came owl to the school she was the teacher and all the little creatures came to owl school the little chipmunk and a lot of the birds and the little frogs came to owl school and mrs owl taught them all about what flies and what swims and what squeaks in the forest and she told them to listen to the messages of the wind and know when spring is coming and when the snow will melt but she said oh be careful of humans and be careful of large hunting animals like foxes and dogs listen listen and they did they learned about what flew and what squeaked and what swam. They learned the language of the creatures of the forest. And soon, at the very end of the summertime, they would go out into the moonlight and they would see little bunnies in the moonlight. And sometimes when they looked carefully, they would see fairies in the moonlight. And they'd play seesaw with the fairies. Seesaw in the moonlight with the fairies in their forest. And the fairies flew away, and the rabbits flew into their, hopped into their little burrows, because now the snow was falling, 
and it was winter time. Oh, it was snow white all around. And the children really only wanted to stay snug in their blankets until the spring came, but they did have to go out and collect the firewood and they would have fires outside and around the fire their parents would tell them stories of the old days in the forests and of the trolls and the fairies and the faraway castles of long ago. But their parents always told them, oh, we have enough food, so let us set out some food for the creatures in the winter who do not have enough. And there were always creatures that came to eat the food that they had given them. Sometimes in the winter, they would get sled rides from the bunnies. They would get the bunnies to pull the sleds and they go down the snow and up the hills and down and sledding and sledding. And they had a wonderful time. And after the winter, the snow began to melt and the river began to flow and the children went down again to the river and splashed in it and played in it and swam in it and got all muddy and soon they heard little sounds in the trees and new little babies came to the forest. They even had a baby of their own that they all cared for and they all loved. Another year had begun in the forest, and that's the end of the story. See you next time.